You and I have seen it for these past few days. How the internet everywhere they scatter because of the death of Mubad and the circumstances behind that is dead. No be smarting. Waiting happen. What went wrong? How and who is responsible? But funny enough, you see, like we're beginning to see the handwritings on the wall. The handwritings. You get? For me, whoever is responsible for his death should face justice. Whether neither man is responsible or is not responsible, or Zenolisky is or is not, or Sam Larry or is not, that Kadai will never be the same again. You see this one? This one tough for. As the whole thing take the play now, eh? You will see say the spirit of this young man is very angry. The spirit of Mubad is very angry. Look at what is playing out. Look at what is happening everywhere right now. Can you can you can you see can you see the video where he's he was lying down? Did, did you see the pains? Did you see the agony? Did you see what this young man was going through? You can feel it immediately when you look at those those clips. You get and. What baffles me with all these circumstances behind all these circumstances behind, behind this this horrible news nine person way we see as in Papa get time they drag or they ask about property you never Make that time to ask about what thing happened to your beginning. How? I want my property. You know, you see, whatever, whoever is responsible, Nigerians, it is, I think it's the right time now. It is the right time now. Whoever is responsible, let this young man get justice. It's not happening. More bad. Wherever he is right now, till justice is prevailed. And not only that justice be the only thing. Listen to his letters. Listen to waiting that guy they talk for a music. You will trip. You will not say, ah, ah. just be like say this guy knows say something like this will happen. Just be like say that prophet prophetic song that the guy released. Shameful enough. I mean, and if when I when I when when I look at when I look at the whole thing, the whole picture, I can't even wonder why I say uh -uh. why people go the rush, why that too much rush, rush to go bury this young man. And I can't think I'm in another way. Because he said, this young man. No be Muslim, where everybody know, according to their religion, that if anybody departed, that that person should be buried immediately. This one is a different case altogether. This young man is a Christian. Yes, so Mubad is a Christian. He's a Yoruba. He's a Christian. So not only that, look at the coffin they used to bury him. What an embarrassment. What, an, what, what a shame. What an embarrassment. It baffles me. And if you look at it, the way they just, it, it looks as if it, the coffin is not even his size. What? I mean, look. We should respect this young man for what he represents. This guy is a gift of life. Go and listen to his song. It's a gift. It's very, very unfortunate, very, very painful to hear say it happened this way. But whosoever is responsible, anybody, Nigerians, eh, who could do it for this young man, 
who go do for this small man. Go bad, go get justice. That's my own. You see that love? That love, man. This is the time. This is this is the right time to, I mean, to express that love by getting justice from Mubarak. It's terrible. God will never forgive these people. 